All right, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it ain't as good as super bad, bruh. All right, so fair warning, I gotta use a lot of euphemisms for this movie, cause it's just, it's a lot, bruh, so yeah. All right, so the movie starts out with a dude watching what can only be described as like eight track porn, like nigga, it's, it's low quality, bruh. Nigga, the company that made what he watching, nigga, that's, that's bang acquaintances, nigga. <laughs> he couldn't get the bros, bruh. <laughs> There's this dude, uh, I, I forgot his name, so I'm just calling him girlfriend dude, and his girlfriend, Vicky, uh, she gets into college, and he wants to basically have sex with her, so, you know, he's jumping through hoops and whatnot. And then, in one of the nastiest scenes I've ever seen, uh, how do I put it? Uh, girlfriend dude's girlfriend, she giving him, uh, uh, mouth to, to, she give, she, nigga, you know what she doing, and, and then he, he, uh, he, he, ah, boy, this is difficult, he blows a gasket into a cup of beer for whatever reason, and then his homie, he comes in right after him, no pun intended, and then he drinks out the cup, oh, nigga, oh my god, so obviously my nigga didn't take too kindly to swallowing kids, so he's throwing up all over the place, but that's irrelevant to the story anyway. Oh, and speaking of stuff that's irrelevant to the story, uh, I think this movie like created the word MILF because they were talking about uh, this dude Stifler. They were talking about his mom and they referred to her as a MILF. And I think that's where it started or at least they popularized it. So shout out to American Pie for starting the whole category. So anyway, there's this dude named Chuck Sherman and he has sex at the party. But now all the dudes heard about it, like the main guys, uh, they heard about it and they're like, ooh, we gotta, we gotta get like Chuck Sherman because we can't have this nigga being the only one, you know what I'm saying? So they all make a pact to get laid before graduation. And yeah, the, the hilarity ensues apparently. <laughs> then we cut to them in class. They have this teacher, like this is random, but they have a teacher that sounds exactly like Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek the goat, you know what I'm saying? But then we switch to this girl who has the worst accent I've ever heard in my life. Bruh, it's, it don't sound real. And it switches from time to time. It's just, it ain't good, bruh, but it is what it is. <laughs> but the girl walks up to Jim and she's like, Hey, can I can I study at your house? Like, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> well, she asked him to study at his house, and she's also like, "Can I change at your house too?" And Jim agrees. But the homies try to get Jim to record old girl, and then send like to send the link to the to the Twitch stream to the homies. So Jim agrees. <laughs> so she comes over. Uh, she she starts doing her thing. Uh, he, he sets up the Twitch stream. Then he dips out the house, runs over to the homie's house, and then watches the stream from there. But but you would think, right, like that if he did all this, and since it's like wildly problematic and everything, that the girl's gonna like walk over to the camera, see it, and then just shut it off. Nope, not an American Pie, bro. We see everything, and they don't stop, and it gets worse. And she starts, she pulls out one of his, his porn magazines from his drawer, and then she starts, you know, is she, uh, what's, what's a good euphemism? Well, <laughs> well, I'ma beat my meat. And then he runs back to his house to, like, capitalize on the opportunity. Uh, but then we realize that he sent, the, he didn't send the link to just the homies, he sent it to everybody in the school. That's not good. So they go back to school, well, he goes back to school, everybody's laughing at him, and she she went she had to go back to Eastern Europe where, where she's from. And that girl was Melania Trump. <laughs> and that's how she went on to ruin Christmas. <laughs> but then this fool goes and meets another girl and she she wants to go to prom with him. Also, there's this dude named Finch, and there's a rumor that goes around the school that he has like a giant you know, you know, you know. And all the girls are super interested in him because of it. But the thing is, he actually paid this one girl to lie. He paid her $200 to lie to everybody and say that he's, you know. And then some other stuff happens, blah, blah, blah. Skip the prom. So now they're at prom. And then girlfriend dude, he has like a group meeting and he's like, Yo, all y'all better blow some backs out tonight or, 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 or I'ma get real, real mad up in here. But they're all like, bruh, we got better things to do. But then they all have sex anyway. <laughs> the dude Finch, he has sex with Stifler's mom 
and you can't help but root for the dude. Jim, he has sex with uh, his new friend, because uh, apparently she's, uh, uh, she a freak, nigga. And then girlfriend dude, he has sex with his girlfriend. But first, there's this little nigglet that pops out the closet, and he's like, oh, I, I caught y'all. But then they kick him out, and then they have sex. So that's American Pie. We're done. Thank God. <laughs> um, I genuinely think deep down that there's a positive message in this movie. But, you know, it, it gets muddied with all the, you know. You really gotta turn off like your 2020 eyes and go back to 1999 when all everybody, everybody was cool with this this type of movie. So like, if you look at it with those lenses, then you can kind of appreciate what they were trying to say. But you know, it's it's still a little goofy, but it, it's like there's something there. You know what I'm saying? It's a message about how like society even back then like pushed this this real hard message of like you gotta have sex to feel validate it like it it, it 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 tackled that it really did and I, I really think deep down the movie will argue that you you don't have to hurry up and have sex like you just gotta you gotta find what makes you happy find a purpose and enjoy life like don't focus on that because it's stress like you're just adding stress into your life anyway i think that's what the movie's trying to say but also maybe i'm looking too deep and trying to find something that ain't there who knows if i had to say who's this movie for uh, I can't sit here and like rec highly recommend it. Like it's alright if you really just ain't got nothing else to watch. Like you probably won't hate it. You won't love it, but you won't hate it either. So yeah. Uh, it, I hope you have a fantastic day. Until next time, love, peace, and uh, casserole. <laughs> peace out, y'all.